Sunday fun day. In case you guys don't know, this is my Sunday as well. Uh, I, I film the vlog and then I edit it and then you guys see it all in one day. At least that's how it is right now. Usually, usually vloggers will vlog a day in advance so that they can have time like overnight or in the morning to edit the vlog. I have some stuff in this box, but before we do that, I did make some progress on the bench before I started the vlog. I built a new support system. I also threw this support in there. What I wanna do is bolt this down to the floor, I just don't have a hammer drill. As you guys know, I'm doing vlogging again. I'm trying to do it every day. So far, I've done like five or six days in a row. We're gonna try to continue that streak. So, so doing that, I kinda wanted to make it easier on myself. So I bought a, uh, well, we'll get to that after we get to this right here. This is a Canon G7X. I bought a new one of those because I like this camera over that camera. Like this, the camera I'm using right now, it's nice for like uh, tripod shots and things of that nature, but you can't be carrying that, that huge camera around. Casey Neistat does it, I'm not gonna do it. I'm happy to hear that so many of you like the construction that's going on right now, getting ready for the new toy. Like I said, I'm buying a new toy. It is the weekend, like I said, it's Sunday. So I haven't heard anything from businesses. Usually that's how it happens. Everybody needs a break, right? Everybody needs to relax and, and put their feet back and enjoy a concert. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Jake, Seth, and I, and Jake's girlfriend went to a Randy Hauser concert. We got free tickets, second row. You'll never believe who hooked us up. Seth hooked us up. And it was a great show. Excellent performance by Randy, John, and Kevin. I got a pouch for this thing. I'm gonna throw it in here so that I can easily carry it. And before anything happens to the back, I installed a screen protector. I want this thing to have a strong foundation. As you know, that workbench isn't the strongest thing. It is eye appealing. But other than that, it's, it's really not that strong. This workbench is secure. It's screwed to that wall. Then that is screwed to that. This bench is screwed to that. So this thing's actually adding strength to this. Now one of the main things that I have to find a place for is the drill press. I don't think I showed you guys unboxing this drill press. I got it when I was working on the snow bike. Roll the clip. One of your machines actually purchased this for me. Kyle L. Easy. You almost squashed the cookie. First hole, Kyle, first hole. She works excellent. So I'm thinking for this, I want the steel table to be clean at all times. I'm thinking for this, I wanna put an extension right here off like a 45, so that way I can screw it to the wall, screw it to this, add a little bit more strength to this. Now, I, I never used to be like super into being organized. I've always been fascinated with being like like efficient and things of that nature, but I think you guys have brainwashed me to be organized, so that's, I'm, I'm doing it for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. There's the drill press position. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering like, Dalton, why are you building your, your shelves so high? Because I, I am a tall individual. I'm like 6'1 or 6'2, something like that. So an average bench is like this. It sits right about here with me. As you guys know, I bought this workbench, but I added a nine inch extension on the end here. You can see the difference in material. I, I think an average workbench is about 30 to 32 inches tall. 35 and a quarter, but now after my modification is 46, so. So I lied to you, I actually added 11 inch extension. So as you can see, that bench is level with this bench, which makes this bench about 46 inches tall. 
this drill press is way up in the sky so i have to reach up i have to look up to see everything to see my stopper to see my lights to turn it on um, i'm eye level with this okay Dalton, but, but why are you making everything tall because i'm tall i'm sick of bending over i want to build something that's that's modified for myself i don't want to put up with you know everything that you buy in the store that's made for the average person the average person is probably what five six five seven i don't want to look down i want to look up i want to look at the dreams and the goals ahead and the drill press i just got the notification that we're going bowling soon hang out with your friends and family kids during the weekend you only got them once you have to put up with them hang out with them once in a while i did did move some stuff i worked moved that workbench over there the battery charger over there we got that toolbox up there got the jack stands under there security system up there now before i go i want to talk to you guys do you think i should modify this thing i mean we're modifying stuff like that what, what if we modify something like this you know we cut it in half maybe extend it back what do you think mid project between the new toy and believe it or not this thing does have a lot of power okay but that's it i gotta go i'll see you at the bowling alley there.